Right then. Hello. I just need to move my screen a sec. There we go. Hi, everybody. It's time to begin. And the first thing I'm going to do is sell. We need to start off this, uh, this next 10 days with a ton of money. Just stop me tour. How much is this one? Probably more than I want it to spend. All right, and bet. Uh, boop. Wow. Boop. Hi guys, hi everybody. Self-hatred. Increases stress by free at the start of Sylvia's turn. Oh, that is rough. Um, don't think... That's a closer. So we do this. And then we close it with that. Boom. Max interest. 624 coins. Absolutely just sponged over money. Glad you're still in business. I wonder if you have enough time to take this on. I'm happiest when providing for others. You want... I'm just bad at this game, boys, because... I can imagine people no who normally play this game, right? Will take on these contracts and be able to fulfill them, but I'm just so bad I can't. Hope we can come to an agreement. stacks, right? Yeah. Boom. Uh, Mystic Leviathan, thank you for the 279 Canadian dollars, mate. Uh, I'm, I'm good, dude. I'm good. Just had food. Feel nice and full. Hello, fellow boy Ikumri. I bet. Right. Uh... We should do this one. Oof. Do that, and then do this, and the deal's over. Thank you for the money. Later, bitch. I'm probably gonna need to get new cauldrons, so... Let's make a deal, but best be quick about it. Scheming time. I might as well chuck that on. Bang. Um, I think this is the best we're going to be able to do here. Yeah. New cauldron every week is a must, and you'll see why. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I also put stuff in my thing, so... 3662. Okay. So let's go to... Uh, Muktuk. First time popping into your streams, went down a, an evil rabbit hole and came uh, across your VODs and been hooked up since. Perfect prior to work as well. Nice. Yeah, evil's banging. Right. So we got some new cauldrons. Which is the Arctic Cauldron and... I don't get, like... Dragon Cauldron. Kinda want that one. Da, 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 da. I, I don't see the I don't see the point of ever going this one over this one, unless like it gives good bonuses when you upgrade it. But I'm gonna go with the Dragon Cauldron. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Uh, upgrades. So you need Dragon Breath Blossom. Not able to get that. But we could go to this guy, see if, he's, uh, yeah, if he has it in there. Can I please continue after Miss Boogie Bay? Uh, it, it's not going to happen, sorry dude. <laughs> Thank you. Uh... 
Oh, that's expensive. Maybe you'll find one in a loot box? Shut up, Dino. <laughs> it's not happening. Right, let's go hang out with Mint. We gotta reduce stress. Like, our stress level is so high after that tournament. Combat training. Sylvia is getting better at sparring. She's not quite ready to contemplate a career change, but she manages to deflect most of Mint's attacks and she even gets a few good hits in. Not bad, Sylvia. I mean it. Sylvia feels a good deal closer to Mint and significantly less stressed. There we go. Back down to zero. You like dick? <laughs> um. Oh shit! Oh no, that's a fire flower. That's not a dragon's breath flower, right? Oh, when did this get added? Very nice. Can I give her like a shiny rock or something? Yeah, I have a shiny rock. No such thing as a bad present. Um. You. Let me smash. All menus that matter uh, can now be filtered since the 30th of November update. Fuck yes. God, I needed that. Uh, you want something shiny? You like shiny? There you go. Love you. So let's go... Here. What's this game, man? Potionomics. It's a... It's a game about making potions, winning tournaments to pay off your debt, and also uh, it's got some dating sim elements in it. Thank you. So if I go to the shop now... Oh, yes. Look at all these filters. Oh, I can filter by A or by B. Or by C. It feels so good. It feels so good. Lamy has shit skills. They're pretty good. Right, turn ahead on. Day's over. Oh, um. Let's get some wood. After 30 days, it's too much for my small brain to handle this clusterfuck. I like you, bet. Fuel. I need. some of this shit. There we go. Sometimes I dream about beans. Fair enough. It is what it is. Gold earned, 3.2k. Gold spent, 2.7k. So I gotta make a silence cure, a tolerance potion, and an insight enhancer. Oh, man, this is gonna be rough. Oh, this is gonna be rough. I just don't see how I can pull this off. All right, let's go to my slimes. Let's collect some dick. We just wanna like, duplicate things that have like, super high magamins. There we go. Feels good, man. Kai, beans more like no beans. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's change my uh Let's change my cauldrons. What's the mag uh oh, I don't know. Just wow, look at the jump in Magamins. Two seven five. Sp 
spicy. Holy shit. Was Poppy Playtime out yesterday? No. <clears throat> Project Playtime is still not out. Let me just double check. Project Playtime. Nope, still not around. They, um... I wonder if the Hunter's still for another slime. Probably. They, uh, what was I going to say? They said it was still going to come out yesterday, and they waited till 11 p.m. US time to say it was delayed. We may as well make some money again today. We need to, uh... That's what we need to do first. Your favorite customer has returned. More potions. Mate, you're asking me for fucking superior potions? Why don't you go fuck yourself, Muktuk? You little bitch. 11 p.m. US time? Yeah, I can't remember... I can't remember which time zone. <clears throat> uh, Darkflame, thank you for the $5, dude. People complain devs don't think it's important. Kaif complains devs add filter. Wait, what? <laughs> People complain and the devs don't think it's important. Kai complains and the devs add the filter. I'm pretty sure it's just people complaining and then they eventually are like, you know what, you're right. Scheme. People complain, dev don't think it's important. Kai complains, devs add filter. Not sure what I just did then. Oh, I want to use sympathy on this one. Go on, give me a closer. Ah, oh, you bastard. I'll do. <clears throat> it was horrible without the filter in the fourth and fifth week. Wait, is it a week after this one? I'm in the fourth week, right? I guess we're not close to the end. <laughs> I'm happiest when providing for others. I might be able to make that one. If you're going to delay it, do the moment become apparent. Yeah, the devs could have at least said, like, the game ain't going to come out, like, 10 hours earlier, you know? Spoiler alert, it's another week. That's fair enough. I guess we aren't going to reach the end today. Um, That's such a massive amount. Let's use this. That's going to add some stress. So we got pump up and strike now or strike later. So I do this, right? And then I jingle. And I make this one free. Boom. But it's not enough. <laughs> ah, well, that's a lot of money. Should be one more, right? Yeah. This one looks nice, but you're asking for it. Fucking all the money, mate. All the money. Just for you put some care into it. Oh, you took some value off my potion, you little bitch. Ferocity of the squirrel. Choose a hat. Choose a card in your hand to duplicate. The duplicate is put into your deck and lasts until the end of the current hassle. Okay. First time seeing a live bot. What potions are we mixing? So I do this, right? And it's gonna apply pump. Uh, enthusiasm, right? No. I'm confused about how that card works. I'm really, really confused about how that card works. Like, it duplicated the card, but it didn't make the effect. You get a new copy. Oh, it just adds it back into the deck, is it? Okay. Um... Is there no... I don't have a closer. Okay. Uh, oh, that was pointless. Just increased my stress. I guess it's not a bad card. It does cost some patience, like... Uh, right, we have money, so let's... Um, <clears throat> let's go back to Muktuk and get another one. Mmm... Do, 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 do. 
Do 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 do. Oh. All right. Well, I don't have an elder being's tusk either. <laughs> Plenty of money now, boys. Thank you. Oh, that's so cute. A bedazzled custard. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, these these ones that we're getting now are fucking spenny. 604 of my goddamn money. Alright, now we go to... Uh, Quinn. Frankie Harris, thanks for joining the good eggs, mate. Right, let's rank up. You got that lost puppy look. You know, I like to live dangerously. But this is a whole new level. Walking into the monster-laden woods alongside my stalker. Yo, what? Stalker? I just enjoy your company. That doesn't make me a stalker. Sylvia, that is exactly what a stalker would say. I suppose I could leave, but then you'd be all alone in the woods. Nah, don't leave. That'd be dumb. We just got you, and I'm not the type to quit till I get what I'm after. Consider yourself wanted, I guess. Uh, Snow Captain, thanks so much for the five subs that you gave out, mate. Legend. There's a haggling tip in there somewhere. Don't quit when things are difficult. That's sort of trite, though. I'd be more likely to tell you not to quit while you're ahead. When your opponent is backed into a corner, when you can see this soft, exposed underbelly, don't let up. Pour on the pressure instead. Draw three cards. Disc discard any of the three that do not raise interest. <laughs> what? What? For one patience. Mate. Brutal, but whatever gets the job done. And actually, speaking of jobs, shouldn't we leave the forest to the heroes? Heroes are like sledgehammers, and sometimes you need a shiv. Now be quiet, or you'll scare away the monsters. You say that like it's a bad thing. Quinn and Sylvia pass the time in silence. Quinn gives off their usual air of indifference. But despite, despite Quinn's casual stance, her eyes are sharp with purpose. Quinn rifles through bushes, kicks over rocks, sniffs mushrooms, and hisses at some adorable woodland creatures. Uh, maybe I could help if I knew what you were looking for. I'm just looking for something new. Anything different from the same old crap. I swear if that smiling twit with a hammer brings me one more slime. You wanted to give me a loan, huh? <laughs> you don't need an excuse. Do I strike you as the indirect type? I wanted you here in case there's any trouble. Am I the muscle again? <clears throat> Not exactly. What's the old saying? You don't have to outrun the blood crazed carnage beast. You just have to outrun the person standing next to you. Cohen. Am I here as bait? Sylvia, I'm wounded. If you were bait, I'd hide your broom in the bushes and slash your tendons. Obviously. Where is my broom? Heh. <laughs> I'd say see you soon. But I'm pretty sure your funeral's gonna be closed casket. <clears throat> Don't you dare leave me here. I'm just playing. It's sort of cute when you're overwhelmed with terror. Not flailing and crying. I wasn't crying. Ah well. It's always tomorrow. Uh, what about the discount? Discount? No discount. Okay. Did I go to this guy yet? I did, yes. Okay, so we done Quinn. Uh, we can go flirt with Mint. That'll be fun. Fuck yeah. I'm glad you had some time to hang out today. I've had something on my mind. And it's important we talk about it away from the guild hall. The walls, they have ears. Only some of which are stuffed and mounted. Is this a date? <laughs> Is that what this is? 
Sylvia, I promise, when it's a date, you'll know, and it'll be someplace a little nicer than this. I just figured we could talk, and I'm weirdly nervous about it. I'm probably overthinking it, though. Sometimes the best strategy is to have no strategy at all. And I do my best work when I keep it simple. I thought that was a dick. I don't know why I thought that was a dick. <laughs> Raise the chest by nine. Dis discard two random cards. If opener, discard only one. Um, Not sure I like that. Yeah, life is complicated enough. And you should know you don't need to be nervous around me. In that case, here's the thing. I'm just going to come right out and say it. I like you. I liked you from the start. Figured right away that we'd be good friends, and I didn't give it much more thought than that. I'm so focused on finding my place in the guild. Honestly, romance is the last thing I'm looking for, but as any dungeon delver will tell you, sometimes you find something great, whether you're looking for it or not. And I'm thinking, maybe I found something great with you. God damn! You're about to enter a romantic relationship with Mint. Doing so will permanently block romantic relationships with other characters. <laughs> Heck yes. Ew, sorry. What are we doing, chat? We doing we doing mint or big booba? Seeing a few mint, seeing one Roxanne mint, mint. Mm. All right, I'm seeing way more mint than I'm seeing Roxanne. So, uh, yeah, we could straw pull it. Fuck it, we'll put a straw poll in the chat. Straw poll even a... Yeah, let's go. Mint or Roxanne. Um... Alright, let's get this poll in chat. Your VPNs, lads. <laughs> Alright, and now we wait. I'm gonna grab a drink, and we'll see which one of you guys win. Yeah, i That was pretty close, but um, yeah, I'm sorry for anyone who likes Roxanne, but uh, yeah, Mint wins. <laughs> Mint has uh, won with 97 votes, and Roxanne has 69 votes, although that is a great number. So yeah, we're going with Mint. Heck yeah. That that took her a long, that took a long time. I can imagine, um, I can imagine Mint was like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> What's with the hesitation? Heck yes, if you're looking for romance, then look no further. Really? You're not teasing me. Sylvia, this is incredible. I feel like I just slayed a dragon. Or even better, like I de-escalated a conflict with a dragon through active listening and mutually beneficial dialogue. I'm confused. Am I the dragon in that analogy? No way, babe. Dragon is my insecurity. You know me. I put on a brave face, but I guess I was afraid. Afraid you didn't feel the same way. How could I feel any other way? You're amazing. You know something? When you say it, I believe it. Say it again, Sylvia. <laughs> Wait. Um, Jet Knight Gaming, thanks for uh, joining the good eggs. And Snow Captain, thanks for the two Canadian dollars. Mint for life. Seems like we have a lot of mint lovers in the chat. Um, now let's go send her to her death. I mean, what? I have no potions, so she's just gonna... She's gonna have to raw dog this adventure. <laughs> I suppose the downside with, with Mint is just a... Uh, complete lack of mana. Can't say my girlfriend would kill me if I watch a Viagra. Like, I have no worries, dude. 
All right, let's send Zid out as well. Right in. You can go to... Bones. Oh, yeah, you have a lot less health than you. Plenty of mana. Actually, I could just send you the Enchanted Forest and you'll just get... Pretty far. Actually, you'll probably get about the same distance as Mint. Yep. Alright, let's see what your stats are like. Oh shit, dude. You got a lot of health. Fucking goddamn. Off you go. Uh, Jet Knight Gaming. I think I read that, didn't I? No? Yes, no. No. Thank you for the $5, dude. We're trying to mix up, um... What are we trying to make? We're trying to make a Silence Cure, a Tolerance Potion, and an Insight Enhancer, which is going to be quite hard. I think I still have to customize my store a sec. Uh, Kiara Q, uh, thank you for joining the Good Eggs, and Silver, Silver Iron, thank you for the two pound. Totally, totally, totally. Totally. <laughs> Alright, we got good cauldrons on the go now. Uh, let's look downstairs. May as well change that one as well. Actually. No, that's fine. That's, that's a good cauldron. It's time to brew. Check the garden as well. I think they should be done. Um, kind of think of it right. When I get new ingredients, I should put them in the flowers, duplicate them, and then give one to Quinn so I never have to buy them. I wish I didn't realize that so late. Ah, uh, well. Mwah. <laughs> I may as well add some more to this. Oh, six. Oosh. Should buy more plants? I should, but I don't have the money. Sustainable. Right, now I need to look into what we need in order to make these. So, if I wanted it, I think the insight is probably the one I should look into first. A, B, and E. Ah, oh, that actually has the... what we need. I don't think it's gonna get us, like... Shit, that can get us close, though. So we got plenty of A. What we need now is B. Um... That's going to add C. We don't want that. It's superior after Grand, right? Speeder. I have three more slots. Need more B. Oh, that's got higher. It just brings down the value a bit. There it is. Oh, that's so close, isn't it? Um, if I can bump that up one more with a, a bit of A. Shit. What would happen if I did this? Nope. Fuck, it's so, it's literally so close. Well. I mean. <laughs> Potion gains one additional star completion with a chance of gaining a bonus star. That is. 
a fucking banging start to this uh, this tournament. But that brew is going to take absolutely ages. Okay. Um, well, let's brew that. Let's move on to the Crater Cauldron and just see what happens if we do this. We, we want to improvise. Oh, that filled the Magamins immediately. Wait, what? That's a shame that's not what I need. What the fuck? Um... If I changed it to... What is it we need? Uh, tolerance and silence. Okay. Superior silence. So that needs, like, B. So if I just start dumping B in there, we might be able to, like, do it. Oh, I filled out the Magamins. Yo, this could work. Now we need some C. And now we need some E. Fuck, it's so close. <laughs> There's just too much D in there. Um... trying to think. That's D again. Fuck. Let's think about this. This has A, B, and D. We don't need that. This has A, C, and D, and E. A, B, C, and D as well. Hmm. That's a shame. Uh, let's try... What was the other one we need then? I can't remember what it's called. Radiation tonic, what the fuck? Um, tolerance, okay. There it is. Oh, is that purely D and E? What the fuck? I don't think we have much going for us in terms of D. Yeah, we need we need the big boys if we're gonna pull this off. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Imagine if that worked. No way. No way. <laughs> so, what I would need to do here is just get like a good chunk more E in there. Lose still that star though. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. Um, crazy that this is even viable with these fucking cauldrons, like. I'm gonna dump some shit in there. Make some random potions that we can sell. Oop. Superior alertness enhancer. Can't brew. If you had a bit more C. <laughs> Any C around here? Yes. Oh, Magamins is too full. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> I 
Um. Yeah, why not? It's not like it doesn't matter. It's gonna take fucking ages to brew mind. In one of the good cauldrons as well. Fuck it. Anything I could think of now is to travel to you, because I need much more burning stuff. The ones with four plus types are hard to utilize. Aye. So we need decent efficiency. So we can get two of these. And then we can also get two of these. And then we are completely out of Mooney. Well, it's nice to know that one of the potions are sorted. All I have to do is get one more of the potions sorted and we pretty much win the tournament. We can spend the rest of the time then um, making money and it's just improving relationships and stuff. I think something's going to happen today. I have that feely wheelie. Never mind. Anything ready? Two and eight. Um, let's go to Baptiste. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Thank you. And then what we can do then is check the people that went traveling. Get some, uh, get some easy ingredients. I can't even send them out on adventures. I have one coin to my name. I am broke. Thank you. And now you. How can we not talk to Bug Lady? I don't know, I just can't be asked. <laughs> oh, thank you for the wood. What what a legend. Um Now we go home. I think. I'm... Um, oh, gardening. That's what I wanted to do. So, we just got some new ingredients. Uh, like, bedazzled custard. Uh, that might be banging. Where else did we get? Was it that, that thing? Snowflake Spore. It's got B and D. That's got D and E. All oh, right, we need this. We need. We definitely need that bad boy. There we go. What is it? I saw a video of this game where a guy got a combination of skills that had patients go into the negative and had a common potion sell for over 700% profit. Sick. Um, Snow Captain, I think, did you just give out another five gift subs as well? Mate, thank you for the five subs that you gave out. And uh, thank you for the two Canadian dollars. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, now I have two more coins to my name. Let's go. So we'll duplicate them and then we'll go to Quinn and then we'll get rid of that one. Actually, no, we don't have to do that. Actually, we may as well. We have—we literally have like no potions. Yeah, we have no potions. We may as well go to Quinn and give the other one away. Hey, bet. Mm -hmm. Do 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 do. And uh, we may as well go flirt with Quinn. We have a... Uh, we literally have time to kill because we have no potions. Uh, two chunks will do. Actually, one chunk will do, I think. I'll just do two. 
Lin smiles bashfully as she empties her rucksack onto the table. There are teeth and tails, whips and boomerangs, crystal top rod, various footwear, tiaras, a sour looking fairy in a bottle, and a bouquet of flowers bound together with a bright red bow. Surprise! They don't have any use in potions. I thought you'd like something pretty to look at. It's only fair since I get a look at you. Wait! Sylvia feels a fair amount closer to Mint and moderately less stressed. That was cute. Alright, and if we go home now, I think some of the stuff should be ready. What are we gonna flirt with Quinn? Nah. So, are the gardens done? Yes. Let's go! <laughs> So that has a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna do that one again. Um, we kind of need these, so we'll keep that up. This garden and stuff is um, some good shit, nah. When we get some money, we'll buy more of those slimes. We're gonna need them. Hi, Sarah. Hello. Boom. I didn't get, like, upgraded at all, did I? <laughs> know about the slimes. Kif, they are fast if the ingredient you use has that magma in. I. I'm lazy. So. Um. Tolerance. Oops. Tolerance is D and E. And is it this one? Silence cure is B, C, and E. Where's the flower? Oh, I got to set to that. That's no good. That's also no good. Also no good. I should chuck some spiders in there for now. Alright, now we need a fuck ton of B. Which I don't think we have. Unless I use that. We're just gonna put too much D in there. So now it's grand. Hmm. That's kinda banging. Oh, she? No way. No way. So if I can just get a bit more B in there somehow. <laughs> That's not going to work, is it? <laughs> um, is a chance of losing a star. Because it's so off balance. What am I doing? I'll just check another one in there. <sighs> I need more B. I need more B. <laughs> Fuck, that's so close, man. Because there's only a, it's a chance of losing the star completion. Like, I find that if you have something that's two stars, it's like a fucking battle to get it back up there. Uh, right, what has B on it? All of these. That will throw it out of whack. That will throw it out of whack. That's shit. Gotta bot you. Goodbye, bot. See you in hell. Goodbye. Don't like using my brain. God, it's always annoying when you gotta use your brain. I reckon we could pull this off if we just had one good B plant. But we didn't, so. 
So what we'll do now is we'll keep this potion safe here. And we'll sell the other ones. Oh my god, the fucking money on that bad boy. Whew. Jesus Christ. Oops. As long as we always have this one on the shelf, we're okay. Look at that bad boy. All right, let's do it. Let's make some money. And now that we need a lot of B, you're going to find none. Yep. Do you know Robin? He's so dreamy. Sorry, do you take requests? I hate to be a bother. Grand tonics is something I could do, yeah. Not that I want to. Boom. Strike. Mm, okay. 6k though, I know, right? We could, we potentially could make that one. You can't win, bitch. Frosty of the squirrel. Uh, let's pump this bitch up. And then blitz her dick. There we go. 1.2k. Sylvia, the place is sparkling today. Gotta pull an all-nighter soon. Help me out. That's not worth it. Sell me something. What's the story with this one? Oh, let me use your tactics against you. I'm... I may as well just pump her. <laughs> I don't think I was reaching level 2 with that. I will cherish it forever until I drink it and it's gone, I mean. That's a nice cauldron. I guess business is good. I need to know more about this potion before I can make a decision. Oh, we got a stress card already. Come on. Yo, get wrecked, bro. Have we ever talked to her outside of a customer? No, not really. See, I did my research first. <laughs> Alright. Prick. Hmm. Me as well. Scheme it out. Oh, fuck yeah, let's go. I 10. Ah, oh, you bastard. You fucking bastard. <laughs> I don't know what it's made of. It's quite a markup. Wait, this guy is absolutely slamming my stress. Oh, that'll do. You're fucking wrecked. Give me that 1.4k, boy. Was oh, this four customers today? Let's go. I don't think. Oh no, that'll do. Easy sale. Go run, but thanks. Thanks, come again. That's all of them for now. Now we have a fuck ton of money, boys. Now we can go out there and spend it. And then make that potion we need. Closing haggle with closer will add additional benefit by 5%. Cool. Learn the trolling bit of news. Seems that Anubia has a unique magical talent. She can create duplicates of herself. They're a little better than drones. They completely lack her uh, winning personality. But they're apparently smart enough to deliver her potions all over town. I've seen them shambling to and fro and everyone I saw represents a sale you didn't make. How long before we start losing our customers to the siren call of same day delivery? There's only one thing to do, Oswald. You must become my delivery boy. I take offense at every word in that sentence. Would you do it for a raise? You know you've never paid me. Not a coin. You know that, right? It's no wonder with that attitude. She can clone herself? Lucky. If I could clone myself, I'd make two videos. Alright, let's change my deck. I think I'm going to take Scheme out. 
I know you can get some good stuff out of it, but... Here's the thing. I ain't smart. Shock factor. Uh, raise interest by 10. Apply shock for two turns if open a raise. Yeah, but what does shock do? Ah, okay. Maybe not. Two videos a month? Pog? <laughs> Shut up. Uh, let's go to the brew. Because these ones are done now, right? Oh no, I never brewed it. Okay, we can finish that off. So, we have a ton of money. But let's check the garden. Check the garden. Gotta collect me goop. We got that. Nah, D and E. <laughs> anyway. Um, let's duplicate this one. Because it only has two on it. Dun, 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 dun. Banging. So the next point we should go to is Muktuk. Holland's potion good to go for ruin, I believe. Yeah, I just need to uh not Muktuk. Um let's go to Quinn. I'll check out some like what good B stuff we have as well. Alright, you can finally have these guys now. Dude, did I make a duplicate of that? I did, didn't I? Fucking bedazzled custard. You've got to age your potions. Oh shit, that's a thing, isn't it? Yeah, we'll do that. Um. It's got all sorts on it. Let's try just flat out be a sec. That reduces the uh, the worth, but we'll get five of them or four of them. I want to get that just purely because of the uh, the modifiers it adds. All right, let's see what happens if we remove them though. And now we have like multiple different things. There's a lot of stuff that has B on it. Let's start from here. This is B and D. Yeah, we'll just get one. Uh, there's a fucking chili. B and D. That has no downsides to it. B and D. Some downsides. It's I have the new. A, B and D. Uh, A, B, C and D. A, B and D. So nothing particularly like groundbreaking. This one's weird. Yeah, nothing particularly, uh... Nothing here particularly blowing my mind. Anyway, now we'll go to... Dickhead here. No loot box. It's not happening. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, that is an upgrade and half though. Body snatcher slouch kit. Do we already have this or is this slightly different to the one I already have? Do we have this? I do. Same one, okay. What about this? Do I have this? Draga! Chat, anyone know if I have the Draga's tibia? No? Oh, fuck, I like- Oh, that's expensive. Oh my god. Whatever. Um, now here, I 
do 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 I hate using my money. It feels bad. Pardon me. I don't care about any of that. Only peasants use their money, yeah. Um, let's see if we can finish off this brew. Um, because B is something we desperately needed in there. Chance of losing a star, but if I take out this, man, that dropped hard. What the shit? That dropped so hard. How about I have the new? Nope. It's like these things are bad, but like... It's just weird. And it's only a chance of gaining a star on completion. Out. Look how much you drop when you take that out. 22D is ruining it. That's the thing though, but if you take this out, watch. Look at look at the fucking drop. Nope. This thing is essential to even getting it there. chance of getting an additional star because even if I take this out it drops again pretty hard I put in a mote of mana I don't think I have a mote of mana <laughs> what if I had to put this in <laughs> oh, that's stupid how that works. How did that work? Boom. Bruising one chunk. This game don't make sense sometimes, I'm telling you boys. It just does not make sense. Good brew! So now we have an alertness potion. Didn't I just make a drowsiness cure? No, I didn't. Look at that. Look how easy it is. This game's fucking easy. Many Magamins. You just want things to sell, you know? Honestly, Kiff, your loot box ways go, you baller ingredients. You will not, uh, you will not tempt me. <laughs> what else can I put in there that has D? We are getting close to the Magamins. I don't have anything low on Magamins now. Let's just chuck some stuff in there. How is this working? <laughs> now I get three of them. Now I get four of them. <laughs> have we got anything low on Magamins? Totally full. There we go, and brew. So we got this one brewing, which is going to give me the silence cure that I need. 
Uh, tolerance we'll have to work on next, but it's time to age some shit. I gotta go get it off the shelf. This is dumb. I, I, how I'm pulling this off is dumb. I'm basically just chucking ingredients in and it's working out strangely. That was my best brew cauldron. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's gonna make some money. You were absolutely cheesing it. I really am. This shouldn't be working and it's working. There we go. We need more of these bad boys. What what color magaman are you? How do I know which ones they take? Like, he wants A Magamins, right? Also, um, Cherry, thanks for resubbing. Note, uh... Sorry, Note, thanks for joining the good eggs, mate. Red is A. Okay, so it's based on the, the Magamin type. Okay. Um, Cherry, thank you so much for the five subs that he gave out. And Snow Captain, thank you for the five gift subs that he gave out as well. Well, that one's taken... Oh, wait, he's already making them. It doesn't matter. Okay, uh, we need more spiders, which is E, which we don't have. We could go buy another slime, actually. I think we'll do that first. <laughs> we'll go talk to this dickhead. Thank you. Oh, oh. My money! My... <laughs> My money... is gone. Oh <laughs> god, my money. Oh, I like spending it. Alright, we can speed up this shit show now. So you're gonna eat that. Blech. Get that in your mouth too. Um, This has a lot of the magamines I need, and that will take it. I'll take this. Yoink. Slam down your mouth and enjoy it. What else do I want? What is helpful? This is fairly helpful. E, C, and D. Yeah, we'll get that. Um... It's not the right one, but I don't really care. Hey, this gardening thing is sick. Uh, what are we running out on? These. <laughs> there we go. And now if we go back to... Were we brewing or... No, we, we need to sell now. I don't need these, right? Pretty sure I don't need them. Hold on. I'm trying to, like, my brain is just doing flips at the moment. So we got the superior silence cure that we need. Um, this one is also brewing in the cauldron. Okay, yeah, we can sell it. They can make bank if they made plushies or stress balls of those garden and slimes. They're adorable. I. Can you age them first? I could. But I like instant gratification. I hope the heroes make use of this place. I hope we can come to an agreement. <laughs> Oof. Okay, I can see. <laughs> I can see a downside to this uh, this card. Because it deletes my cards. Oh, actually, when I think about it, it's not as... Yeah. Boom. May as well release some stress. It 
It's just like... It's literally just like deleting my deck. <laughs> like, I'm, fl I'm flying through my deck using that. I don't know if I like the card as much. It destroys the tension. It does, yes. I've got a song stuck in my head. Not one of mine. This potion's got a real stage presence. Plant the seed. Oh my god, my poor deck. My poor deck. That is a big shield. Bitch, that is a big shield. Yeah, I'm gonna meditate and end this deal. Uh, if it deletes a card and replaces them, that means you can delete stress cards, which is kind of bog. Yeah, but it seems to... I'll, I'll double, double check now, but it seems to just delete the cards from my deck. It doesn't put them back in. Let's find out. So I have 18 cards. Why did they all have to be interest cards? <laughs> What's up with that? It throws them into the discard pile. Right, so it, there is an issue with that. Money! We back in the money, baby. I think I might go back to using Scheme. Um, suppose you can make an infinite deck that allows you to maximize on the profits with three key cards. Well, you'll you'll never be able to explain that to me. My intelligence ain't there. Um, yeah, I don't like that pressure card. It probably has its uses, but not for me. Kind of don't like that. Blitz is okay. Meditate's okay. Jingle is alright. Um... Plant the seed is alright when we're in the tournament. Seems like a good card, just not for your deck. Pretty much. I love how she's all about, like, the stress cards. Apply Charmed. Temporarily increases price of potion by 15%. That could work in the tournament. So we try to get a new card from other characters. Yeah. Uh, let's check the brews. Don't forget to make a grand shadow tonic and grand fire tonic for the customer order. I'll stop being annoying now. I'll try now. No extra one? Ah, little bitch. We kind of have to wait for this one before I do it. Right then. Uh, recipe. Fire tonic. Like, he wanted a very specific one. It was a fire tonic that's got, I don't know, like, speak, smell, hear. I, I, don't, I don't know how to, uh, speak, smell, hear. So speak. Smell. Oh, well, that's going to set it back. Um, sure. It needs A and C. Right, now I gotta try and somehow wangle my way into making it. Thingy. A and C. I gotta... <laughs> How am I gonna do that? Oh, I literally don't have any A. Okay, so instead of the fire tonic then today, I'll try and do the shadow tonic. Which is B and E. Great. And then some E. Okay, uh, what do they need for the order? Minimum quality, grand. 
I think the change is you can use Roxanne for requests. Okay. But you could can Roxanne can only put one on, right? We can at least do that for him. I used a lot of ingredients. But at least we're gonna have five of them. Oh look, another bot. Uh kinda cheating you, but Mommy Roxanne enchantment now work with custom orders. However, it lasts only for a day. I mean I I pulled off what we needed. Let me double check. Oh shit. Cause these don't oh they do have unpleasant stuff. Is that gonna be an issue? If the pots have a negative on it, does that ruin the order? It's fine. So as long as it has the ones they need on it, it's okay. Not unless it negates their desired one. Would that negate um, this? I think it would, wouldn't it? Um, how am I going to get more B in there without fucking it then? As long as you have more of the plus ingredients. Yeah, that's where we're struggling. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, it's not good. I give up. <laughs> I give up. I can't be asked to do the custom order. We have money. I'm just going to brew some shit. Get out of here, get the fuck out of here, get out of here, get bye 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 bye. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Alright, improvise. That kinda fucks the improvise. Roof of dungeons? Yeah, I guess. But like, health is not something I can do right now. Because I don't have A. What I need C, isn't it? Bit of D. Oh, getting full on Magamins now. Eh, that works. That's a long fucking brew though, I'll tell you that. You whippersnappers in your loot boxes. Shut up. <laughs> you still play SPSL? Yeah, we played it quite recently. Um... Yeah, let's make some money! Check slimes? Okay. No, none of them. Just check my potions. Do we have one safe down here? Yep. Sick. I almost slipped on an owl feather. I'm here to pick something very specific. This would help me out a lot. Die. I guess you're particular too. This one might work for me, but I'm not entirely sold yet. Not aging? No, I can't. It's the barrel's full. Man, I just played a whole lot of cards to do nothing. <laughs> What some dungeons need is special ones like fire or lightning. Yeah, but you also, like, most of the time you do also need, um... What's it called? The health in general. Alright, I'm not gonna get to the next one. 
Increase the price. Close the deal, bitch. You look eager to make a sale. I need to know more about this potion before I can make a decision. Let's get rid of some stress. What are you doing? Customer loses one patience this turn. This value increases it. Okay. The tint is off by a shade. Wow, that was a lot of stress. Thanks for that, asshole. It's gonna be huge. Oh, yeah! Money. You pretty much always need at least one helping mana potion to finish an adventure. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Favorite customers returned. Good craftsmanship on display in this one, I think. Kaboom. Strike. Strike into the heart of Muktuk. What will he do here? He's gonna draw a stress card. I'll take my money and run, thank you. What a nice day. Oh, another one. Let's go. That's a nice cauldron. I got. I guess business is good. I need to know more about this potion before I can make a decision. Oh my god. Double stress card? Suck me. What does this do? Double stress received from all sources. Twat. Reduces all interest gained by... Okay. Uh... Bang. Get it up ye. Never caught a stream before. This is nice. Welcome, dude. Hope you're enjoying it so far. Man, that really fucked my stress. We have money for days now. Only 10% stress need two stress cards. I know, right? Uh-oh, I know that face. Either you just swallowed a mouse or you're about to blur out another confession. In truth, I do have a, well, confession is too strong a word. And listen, just remember, they've already forgiven me, so you can't get mad. And that's not how forgiveness works, Oswald. Hear me out. Now, can you do that for me? Uh, I just, I need you to know the whole story. As I told you before, my own hubris is to blame for my current feathery condition. With my prize for potions, I was confident that I could be the first to make it to Maven's abandoned castle and live to tell the tale. And I was right. I simply didn't foresee all the complications. Complications is one way of putting it. Let me finish, would you? Naturally, I was desperate to find a cure. Upon returning home, I set myself to finding one. As I poured over every text I could find on the subject, all of the concerns were forgotten. I spared not a thought for my business, my customers, or my debt. Then Helene came poking around and appraising the place. She thought I was just... just some bird. I realized then that she couldn't sense me with her magic. My transformation had broken that infernal soul binding of hers. And I suddenly felt no great rush for a cure. But there is a cure. A potion, in fact. There is? That's great news. What do we need to make this cure? Well, that's the rub. I found the formula in Maven's own journals. And it requires an exceedingly rare ingredient, one she herself cultivated in her castle laboratory. It is known as... Maven Bloom! For years, this ingredient was fought, lost to history, but shortly before your arrival here, members of the Heroes Guild found a single sample locked away in her castle. They brought it back. It now sits within the Guild Hall's vaults, and there is there it shall remain. Until the day it is awarded to the potion maker who wins the fifth and final competition. Wait, wait, wait. The ingredient you need can only be obtained by winning this competition circuit. The very circuit that you insisted was my only shot at saving myself from the debt you saddled me with. Oswald, did you manipulate me into getting that ingredient for you? No. A little. <laughs> it's a happy coincidence. The competition is the best way for you to make uh, the money you need. And hasn't it been working out so far? I only neglected to mention that I had a second reason for ushering you in that direction. Unbelievable. All right. Well, it's not as if I have another option here. But I'm warning you. No more secrets. You need to be on your best behavior. Or else I might just use Maven Bloom to make a delicious soup. You wouldn't. Try me. See what happens. Oomph. Also, you should know I ate the last cookie. <laughs> Dick. I'd eat the last cookie too. Uh, I really did not take advantage of um, adventures like in this entire playthrough. Clean the Maven Blue with the slimes. That is the plan, my dude. That is the fucking plan. 
Oh, glorious ingredients. <laughs> right, before I do that, I'm gonna go to, um... I'm gonna go to the Bruce first. Do we can get more secrets to tell there? Fuck yeah, he does. Flawed brew! Flawed. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, I need to check the agent one. There we go. Aged like fine wine. And now I can go back to the shelves. Side needs to go on there. This one comes off. Um... 2k, holy what? Oh, is my potion worth a lot? Yeah. So we're halfway through. We have uh, two of the potions we need. We just need the last one. Money. I could sell this, right? It's safe for me to sell that, isn't it? I'm so, uh, I'm so paranoid. Yeah. I worry. <laughs> um, I think you're one rank off an amazing competition card from Saffron. Okay, let's go flirt with her. But first, you could probably win with those two. I will win with those two. I have no doubt that I will win with those two. Do not doubt me. Uh, Baptiste. Oh my god, another bot? Jesus fucking Christ. That's the most you've ever had in one stream. Alright, we got the new spider. Let's go. What the shit? Alright, we need this, by the way. So, we'll get that. 1,000 for this adventure. Oh. Alright, Saffron. Let's, uh, let's butter up that dick, shall we? Um, what does she like? She likes, she likes fruit. I don't take it for granted. Enjoy the silence. Grass is ready to receive us. Quieting the mind still doesn't come naturally to Sylvia. She fidgets as uncontrollably as ever, but she's reassured by Saffron's patience. Uh, I hope you receive some measure of comfort, if only a little. Sylvia feels a little closer to Saffron and mildly less stressed. And now we can rank up. First time catching stream, been watching your content since 2017. Nice to be here. Hey, Hope you're enjoying it. Let me put my tools aside and give you my full attention. What are you working on? A bit of everything. At the moment, I'm putting the finishing touches on a set of wooden tongs for a pickle merchant. But in the last few days, I've had more commissions than ever before. I had heard the Heroes Guild new ringleader was having some su success with his recruitment drive, for better or worse. I suppose I should have realized that the more heroes meant more civilians, too. And now, for the first time in decades, town is blooming. Booming. I mean, it's gotta be if they need a whole merchant just to sell pickles. Sounds like you're pretty busy. I can come back later. Don't be silly. If we didn't make time for pleasant diversions, we'd both be working too much. Uh, that might be a lesson for your own shop. Sometimes a customer prefers a bit of casual conversation to speedy service. Raise interest by one for every current point of patience. That's a nice card to begin with. Actually, that's fu- you're right, that is fucking huge for the tournament. That's massive for the tournament. Speaking of which, I should probably deliver these tongs in person, but I don't know quite- I don't quite know my way around town. How would you feel about showing me around? And the tournament patient starts at 45. Oof. Goodness, so many people. Where did they all come from? It's almost overwhelming. You get used to it. Even the smell fades after a few days. I'm not sure I'd want to get used to it. Did you see how many boobs are selling ready to wear clothing? Doesn't anyone sew at home anymore? Next thing you know, people will be paying money to have strangers prepare the meals or cut their hair. This place has changed quite a lot. When I first set Hoof to shore, 
The livestock here outnumber the people. Tell me more. What brought you here originally, Saffron? Oh, that's a long story. Let's just say I'm another link in a long chain of those who came to Rafter after expecting glory. Only to find something else entirely. But that was years ago. Today I'm content simply to take in the sights. You're the nicest sight around. <laughs> Poor Mint. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one who thinks you're here who thinks so either. Even more alluring than a jar of pickles, am I? You're fun, Sylvia. I like a gal who knows how to flirt. In fact, it's been such a pleasant outing, I almost forgot we were here on an errand. Thank you, Sylvia, for the gift you've given me today. The gift of your company. Mint's gonna come to my house and be like, I know what you did, you fucking asshole. I'm sorry, Mint! Always enjoy your content. Can't believe how long it's been since playing PUBG with Stan. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Yandir Mint. Don't shoot on Mint. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me make it up to you. I'll make it up to you, chat. <laughs> Let's go bushwhacking. I got you. Power couple versus hapless shrubs. Mint and Sylvia walk hand in hand to the forest and draw their wooden swords. Mint stands back and watches as Sylvia hacks away at the nearest bush. Sylvia yelps with a picnic. Sylvia yelps when a picnic basket falls from the branches. Surprise! It's a picnic date. I hope you like hero sandwiches. Sylvia, <laughs> Sylvia feels a little closer than Mint and Manly Can you imagine that? She shoves a picnic basket in a bush. You break down a bush and the basket comes out. Surprise! Da -da 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 -do 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 I have a berry. It's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Right, let's go and make some fucking money. Do 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 do. Um, yeah, let's do some gardening. So we got a new spider. That is E, right? Where'd the spider go. Yes, E. Way better spider. Where's my other one? Ah, okay. All right, we don't need to do that again. Uh, this is potential for D, potential for D, uh, potential for A, B, and D. If I got any D, I want to duplicate. Should probably duplicate this here. Because he can take that as well. Or maybe not. I guess I was wrong. Then we need to duplicate this one, and this one, and this one. So, bat, bat, bat. There we go. Okay, let's make some money. Man, we're really like rolling in the money now, aren't we? Let's see if Project Playtime's out yet. I have a feeling it's not. It's not. Dude, the devs, like, I know they said like we're working on it, but they need to be, they need to just outright say, hey, we need a week, <laughs> you know? Not going, we're working on it ASAP. Uh, I should go after this, but I'm too wired. This looks pretty great if the price is right. You're right, here comes the money. Here comes a fuck ton of money. I may as well just close the deal. <laughs> Oosh! I wonder if there's like an alternate... Um, I wonder if this game has an alternate way of taking on the weeks, right? You know how in one of the tournaments it's like you get 10,000, she takes 10,000. What if you earn 10,000 that week? Could you... I doubt it's in the game. I, I, kept, I kept thinking about that. Uh, this potion might be the one for me. What do you think? Man, she has... Luna, you're such a fucking bitch. Honestly. She has absolutely no patience every time she turns up to the shop. Dude, I literally can't do shit. That's the most I can do. There we 
we go. Well, we made some money off her. Well, we all survived another day. How much is this one? It's probably more than I want to spend. May as well add pump up. And plant the seed. And then end my turn. Professional customers have less patience, so yes. Yeah, but she's a tall bitch. What's this? Reduces Sylvia's shield gain. <laughs> you think I use shields, dude? Eh, yeah, fuck it. Alright then. Oh, look at that stack. I used to buy from your uncle. See talent runs in the family. I got a good feeling about this potion. Looks like the character from Fortnite, although that is a gigantic nose. Sick. Not much convinced. Oh, I didn't read the rest of that. I see you have your reservations. See you know your judo well. See if I can pull off anything with scheme. Maybe. Come on, give me a closer. <laughs> Let's go. Banging. Oh shit, another customer. I tripped over three pirates on my way here. They're always underfoot. Let's make a deal. Best be quick about it. I like the pump. Everybody likes the pump. Oh, boom, boom, boom. There must be a way to automate these transactions. There is. You could have used the thing outside the shop. Uh, we have double sleight of hand here. Oh, nailed it. 3k on another potion. Sick. Now we have the money. How much money we got now? Quite a bit, right? What are what vacations are like? Same. Greetings, Sylvia. How's business? I trust you're not letting that ghoulish little girl get to you. Anubia, she's unnerving, but I'm not too worried. Good. That's good. Good, good. Because someone needs to take that little upstart down a peg. Murr. I guess you're not a fan. A fan? Of an outsider coming to my home and acting like she owns the place? I should say not. I've traveled extensively. I've seen a grand empire for myself. It's a sterile cinder block dystopia, a monument to mass production. Where factories spew bile into the air and the seas and the people accept it because in the short term, their lives are comfortable. And that's what she wants to do to Rafter? Her large scale business model requires it. There must always be a new market. Success is defined as growth, not equilibrium. But she's made a dire mistake coming here. Rafter doesn't need another queen. That's right, you took down the last one. Something like that, yes. Wait, <laughs> huh? Hmm? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to dredge up the past. I only meant to say Anubia can only grab as much power as people are willing to give her, whatever her ambitions might be. I'm not gonna let her dominate the potions market. Merp. Very good. That's what I was hoping to hear. I like you, Sylvia. You know your place. All right. All right, mate. Good luck out there. Yeah, he just insulted us. No, my place? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I think the boy's gotten a bit big for his britches. I was never a fan, you know. All he has to do is sell a potion. All he has to do to sell a potion is flash his dimples and bat his eyelashes. The rest of us work for a living. Wait, is that why you have such an issue with him? Because you were competitors and you got all the attention? Oh my gosh. You're super jealous of him, aren't you? I had dimples too, you know. Uh, the thing I like about Robin is his back room is his like, pre-carnival theme. Good job, devs, for the music. Right, check the garden. Oh, sh... Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! Let's duplicate this bone. D. And then... E. Is there anything else I could do with? I want to I want to duplicate things that are like really high in uh, like magamins, like that. Kind of decent that that is, isn't it? B B C and D. 
Um, we've got plenty of that, so we'll try to do this and this again. Why I'm using too many of them, shit. Ooh, alright, I see how it is. That's super close, we may as well um, get it the rest of the way. Fuck it. This looks like a game that could be addicting. It really is. I have 21,000. <laughs> Flawed. Age like a fine wine. Okay, so. We have two potions. I need to put that on the shelf to make sure it's nice and safe. There we go. These uh, I'm going to sell. Man, they are fucking junk, aren't they? Let's brew some shit. Actually, before I brew, I'm going to travel to... Baptiste. Oh, I need to duplicate the thing he's going to give me. Do, 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 do. Oh, shit. Spark of mana. That's really good. Well, kind of. Do, 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 do. Or even loot boxes? No. <laughs> I don't believe the kite was down to $1 not too long ago. I know. I'm just... Business is just booming, you know. I just... It just clicked how fucking smart I am. <laughs> right, um, we do need to try and make this last tolerance potion. I don't want to look like a dickhead at the tournament. So it's D and E. We do have lots of the spiders. Oh, he's only E. I forgot about that. Woo! Alright, we'll leave one. Now we need D. Do, 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 do. No fucking way. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm just too good. I'm just too good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Almost perfect, but it, it counts. And we are pretty much ready for the potion. Uh, for, the, for the tournament. You know... Masterwork potion? We could... Oh, no, it's full of Magamins. It's... Oh, wow, we was off by... It was off by two Magamins. Alright, let's just make some shit now. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's click that and then improvise. There we go. What if I tried to... I don't think I could make a health potion. Oh, I could. What's a health potion again? A and B. Hmm. Not a doth not think we have. If I do this, and then we try and put some B in there, which is... I can't put that in there. We don't need anything good, we just need, like... Enough to send them on an adventure, you know? It's got a nice little whiff on it. <sighs> Doesn't have to be great. It's just got to be good enough for them to go out into the field with it. It's pretty much all we need. Wow. Um... Use one of these again. I'm trying to think, my brain's not functioning right now. I guess that'll do. Yeah. 
You got a tournament in the bag now? <laughs> yeah. All right, now we need some mana potions. Do, 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 which is B and C. This could work. This could kind of work. Have I got anything that is solely B? Yeah. And have I got anything to solely C? Ugh. Do, do, doom. That's good. Wait. No, I can't use that one. Oh, is the magazine's full? Jesus. Well, may as well just keep adding shit. Goodbye, wood. I knew thee well. Uh, let's make some more money. We like money. And we have a lot of money. There's some amazing 32B, 32C ingredients from Adventures. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to make the mana and health potions. Um... That is not worth a lot. I guess that's gotta be one of the modifiers for the day. Rich, but perpetually out of ingredients. Yep. Thank you, Quinn. See, at least Quinn has high patience. It's that bug lady, she's such a dickhead. something good. Oh my god, is that doubled enthusiasm? I'll do. I just stubbed my toe! How much is this one? It's probably more than I want to spend. This guy doesn't have much patience either. It's free star masterworks for the finale. I assumed... Yeah, I pretty much assumed that every time you get through the week, it's the, it's the next level three star, you know. Free scheme, baby. Um, yeah, that's pretty decent. Thank you for the money. This place looks so nice today. I can feel the magic coming off of this one. Let's get a free pump up. Thanks for the stress, bitch. Um, Frosty of the Squirrel. And that. Very nice. Don't think I'm going to be able to pull off much more after this turn. Anything super useful to upgrade the shop or the ingredients high priority? Um, I guess we could upgrade the shop. Well, like, we have a lot of money. I'm just gonna scheme, see if we can get anything out of this. Not really. Okay, let's end it. Yeah, we may as well go to Saffron and get the upgrades that cost money. Um... Go to Muktuk and get another cauldron. This is a good day, boys. This feels good. All right, more spiders. Uh, we need more bones. Then we need this uh, spark of mana. I also want another one of these barracuda plants. Wait, uh, what are you... A. And then Nightmare Pom might come in handy. Actually, this. This we need to make. Okay. 
Bangin. Just remember that 3.7k for two butlers and it pays off well. True. Right, let's go to Muktuk first. We'll get a um, we'll get a new cauldron. We'll also get some aging barrels. Oh, we won't get any aging barrels. I don't even know what these materials are. Uh, Yeti felt. Scaly wood. Polylog. Uh, we may as well get the Arctic Shelf. Wait, hold on. Yeah, that's grey and all, but... Oh, fuck it, one. May as well get that. Get that too. Fuck it. Now we go to... I can't upgrade anything, can I? No. Now we go to Saffron, because I need some wood. I didn't think she had them. We need more wood anyway. Nice having the money we need, you know. Uh, we could do this. What do I need? Two coral and two cocoons. Feels good, man. Feels good. So she can't do any more carpentry for the day. Current tier wood is only for complete adventure. Sag. Um, let's go to Quinn. Instead of buying some A and B from Quinn. Yeah, we can look into it. Oh yeah, I forgot to give him a spider. <laughs> I got so caught up in the gardening game, you know. Da -da -da -da. Right. Uh, let's see if you got any A and B specific. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, that's pretty decent. Let's see if there's anything better, though. We can check for... Oh, that's Enchanted Forest. Can you check for potions? Sort by Magamins. Cool. I bet. Go off here. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Later, boys. Sinfandel. I should probably get one of these so I can start duplicating this as well. Have at the office, Pog? Aye. Yeah, we'll, we'll get these so we can start duplicating them. Fuck it. Oh look, a flea. A cricket. I do think, um... That's expensive. I do find the things that are only like two Magamins are like the best. Get another one of these. And I'll duplicate that as well. We just spent a lot of money.
All right, what we got? We got that already. Uh, I don't know if we have that. We definitely don't have an armor, a crater armor pudding. Quite cheap. Arctic Frost Hopper. Loot boxes? No. <laughs> uh, we have no potions now. But we can brew. We can brew! Alright, that's tidy. Um, now we need to switch out our cauldrons. There we go. Um... Shelves. I don't know what we normally make, but it doesn't matter. Oh, shit, there's one there. I forgot we got an extra barrel, didn't we? Uh, yeah, we can just put another Celestial one in there then. Is there any way to get rid of these? These are just... Uh, I suppose that, yeah, stops you from getting into situations where you don't have, uh... Stops you from getting into situations where you can't take the cauldron out because you got rid of the other ones. Uh, Mushroom Mire Wall. That's nice. Cool. Shop is looking great. So what we can do now... Let me just quickly check gardening. Not far off. We could go to... Um, what's his name? This guy. Send him out on an adventure. See how far he makes it. Prevents a soft lock from user error. Yes. Get him back out there. Um. I don't know how expensive it is to go to the Arctic. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't like the adventures. I don't find this fun. Especially when it's like, hey, you need this specific potion to get any further. And I'm like, bruh, I can barely make the potions I need for the tournament. See, this I can brute force my way in. You know what I mean? There we go. That's an expensive cost, though. I don't know, man. I just don't think... I just don't think these adventures are interesting. There's so many potions I gotta do, and I never have them. So I can't be asked to do them. You can go down here. You could probably get quite far in this. Yeah, hey, almost there. Uh, let's improve my relationship with Quinn. Cause that's expensive because he high level. I mean, some of the missions are high um, expensive anyway. So it is really good for her. Lots of mana. Can pump her full of pots. Pump her. Quinn pulls out a blindfold and a sack of ingredients. Sylvia is hesitant, but Quinn has a point. Sylvia uses this stuff in her craft. She should know her materials inside and out. Lovely. She dons the blindfold and opens wide, bracing for whatever Quinn has in store. Some of the ingredients taste alright. Others don't. That was fun. I'm not sure your palate is any sharper than before. Your projectile vomit is something to envy. Nice. <laughs> Sylvia feels a little closer to Quinn and mildly less stressed. Uh, and now we go to sleep. Does that increase stress? Who the fuck knows? Maybe, maybe projectile vomit and, you know, get it all out. Uh, 
Uh, I think this was partially because you didn't follow your eyes adventures at the start, so you never really stocked on potions. Mate, I spent most of my time at the start of the game stressing that I couldn't get the potions ready for the tournament, so... You knew. <laughs> Alright, there's the tolerance potion. Mate, that almost went into a masterwork potion. Holy shit. Alright, let's get that into the... Into the brew! Age that bad boy. Let's see what stupid potion we can make, eh? Actually, before I do that, we need to finish our gardening. I need that for the upgrade too. Um... Shit, where'd that go? Right, this is a A, B, or D, so I'll put it there. I think we had more. You can go there. You can go there. Okay. Here we go. Da 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 dum da dum. Do 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 do. I'll do. How many weeks to the end? It's one week after this, apparently. Like the max potions come after this. Um, let's get to brewing. Make some more money. Let's put some random shit in there. Really go to town with it. I just did this. <sighs> Alright, more C now. Only C. Or A, actually. Okay, that. Wait, do I not have any C ingredients? <laughs> Well, well, well. It's literally like the only one. I mean, that kind of does the job, doesn't it? Cool. Yeah, we may as well just make some random shit in preparation for the tournament. Well, just just to make some money, like, you know. Do you have any A? Yes. Can't afford to lose that. Wow. What the shit? <laughs> Thank you, Spark of Mana, for making that an incredibly good potion. Mr. Cab, could we listen to the cat's theme while ignoring the boxes of loot that they might try to sell? You're trying to coax me into something, aren't you, boy? Alright, just gotta double check. I am aging that last potion. Yes. Ugh. Okay, we're not selling this week, lads. <laughs> we're not selling this week. Um. This day, rather. Alright, uh, let's listen to the cats. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. meow. Uh, I have this dragon's tibia. Let's rank up. You know, it occurs to me that you might be able to help us out with something. You any good with that broom? Yeah. See those cannons on our ship? 
they murder a, uh, they're a murder to reach, but they've got to be clean to be of any use. Then you show up with a gravity-defiant janitorial tool. It's like it's meant to be. Reluctantly, Sylvia levitates over the water, bringing her broom up alongside the vessel. Now, just put it in reverse. Sylvia holds her breath as she inserts the brush of her broom into the first cannon, silently hoping it's unloaded. Careful not to breathe any of that certain. Might not be great for the lungs. Ah, uh, oh, Salt Sea, you do care. I care about not getting sued. Humans are litigious. Now, come on, Sylvia. There's lots more cannons to clean. Sylvia follows Salt's fastidious instructions as she makes her way around the ship's hull. When the final cannon has been cleaned, she drifts back down to the dock. Now, uh, how's that for teamwork? And before you say anything, supervision is a critical contribution to any team effort. And that is what I brought to the table. You sound like the owl I know. Well, he sounds smart and delicious. Fair warning, though. Being a pirate's about more than cleaning cannons and swapping the deck. I don't scare easy. Just ask my competitors. I would ask them, but I'm assuming you killed them. Wink. I gotta say wink on account of the eye patch. Sylvia, you must be curious about our eye patches. What are you meaning to ask about it? What are the odds you'd both lose an eye? Yeah, not very high. Those odds. I ain't never lost an eye. This eye patch is just a fashion accessory. Oh, I assumed. Yeah, I get that a lot. But I'll have you know, I'm very careful around pointy things. Explodey things and monsters that eat cats in whole or in part. But I wanted to show solidarity with Pepper, you know, hence the eye patch. Well, what happened to Pepper then? We don't talk about that. <laughs> it's alright, Salt. I don't mind. Tell me about it, Pepper. It all started a long time ago, Sylvia. I was little more than a kitten. My papa was helmsman then. He used to let me sit on his lap and put my paws on the wheel. The night in question, the moon was full and bright. Those were the nights I felt safest. You see, rival ships could sneak up us in the, in the moonlight. Predatory birds could swoop down without being spotted first. It never occurred to me that the danger would come from within. Mutiny! It's the worst thing a cat can do, Sylvia. It's unnatural. My papa was loyal to the captain. The mutineers knew he wouldn't surrender the helm, so the cowards took him out from behind. They almost got me in the process, but they let me live. Then they lived to regret it. Me and Peppa and a few other kittens got bundled up in a lifeboat and set adrift when we were done licking our wounds. We went after those traitors. We hunted them for years, systematically dismantling their network of allies and associates. Eventually, there was no safe ports left to them. Nowhere to buy food or restock fresh milk. They were trapped on the ship, friendless, paranoid, and malnourished. Only then did we launch a direct assault. And vengeance was ours at last. Wow, that's pretty dark, you guys. But at least you made them pay for their betrayal and for the loss of your eye, Pepper. Oh, sorry, I guess I wasn't clear. I didn't actually lose my eye until right after all that. We all got into the catnip to celebrate our victory and I ran into a tree. <laughs> Accidents happen. Eh, trees, man. What's up with them? We don't got those on a boat. Anyway, there's a moral in all of this. You gotta choose what role you're gonna play in this life. Offense or defense? Victim or revenger? Pirate or pastry? Pa Patsy. I know what I'd use. <laughs> Fucking pastry. Salt or pepper? Apply confident for two turns or reinforced? Increases all interest. Oh my god! That's gigantic. Oh, don't think too long or hard. Nothing good comes now, usually. That is a gigantic buff. You know what? You've done me good, guys. <laughs> Let's go! We actually, need, we actually needed some of that stuff. Meow, 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 meow. Now we go to Quinn. Stacked on the saffron card. I don't know what saffron card you mean. Do do do. Do do do. Do 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 do. Right, let's go uh, home. Actually, no, here. The one that increases interest by the amount of patience. Oh yeah. Very nice. Quest was a success. Here are the spoils. Thank you. Let's invest again. Not as spenny today. I appreciate that. See so what happens when we do loot boxes? We get the things we need. Do it again. <laughs> no. Saffron is quite the carpenter. Guess what? It really is safe to go back in the water. Oh, look at all them. Give me some sugar. Actually, no. Well, we got we got stuff to do. Fun fact: most gamblers quit just before they hit big. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, I didn't send her out, did I? Oh, he's still out, actually. Don't be a stranger. You got a great d magamin ingredient there. You'll have to be specific which one you mean. Oh, they still got time to go. Let's check the brews. Anything done? Yes. Means we can make some money. <laughs> the melon is 40D. You got a great D. Uh, right, we'll just sell all these then. Oof. Alright, it's worth more than that shelf. Ah, fuck it. Afternoon, shopkeep. Hope we can come to an agreement. I didn't really need to use meditate there, but okay. Didn't raise a single bar. But we're about to. But we'll do this first. No more jingle. Use enthusiasm. What was that last? Fucking hell, man. Just because you're stuck here doesn't mean everyone else should be. Wow. That's fucking rude. Holy shit. Dude, that was so rude. There we go. 2,100. Thank you. Oh, Zid. Spin me a tail, Sylvia. What's this potion all about? Zidriel. Uh, I've been told I'm hard to please. You're a tough nut to crack. Dude, that's a gigantic shield, man. I like to pump. Ugh. Whatever. We'll end the sale here. It still got us to 2100. Just found the Kaifa modes. Nice. Your hours are a little erratic. Yeah, I'm all over the place, man. Oh, this is a good start in hand. That's a great start in hand. I can see you have reservations. Oof. We can keep this going. Well, I'm on the last look. Kevin, a single coin to his name. Mate, I got rich. I got rich and I got rich fast. Mm, fucking hell, there's a lot going on here. Oh, that's big. Nailed it. Oh, we got another one. Sick. I'm amazed that you're on your field day. I can feel the magic coming off of this one. Oh, yeah. It's time to pump. I like to pump. Oh, yes. Eh, close. We did that without having to end the, end the turn. That's all of it for now. That's what happens when you give Kaif a big Magamim limit and you just can put whatever random crap together. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now we're getting the ingredients we want. So we need more of this. Uh, we need more of that. And this stupid eel. What else could we do with more of? This grasshopper? Hi, Ebs. Hiya. 
just about an hour. Yeah. You alright? <laughs> um, let's check the booze. Check new ingredients. Echt. I'm just duplicating ones I'm low of uh, on the moment. I still got some time to go. Right. I wonder if I just put four of these in. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's actually ridiculous. Too many Magamins. Right, we need... What we need is A. Uh, sorry, B. More B. And now A. Have we got anything that's like super high in A? Not really. This could work. Nope, too many magamins. I only have one of them as well. What can I do to tip the scale into like a different ingredient? Four on that. That's a problem. Some of these Magamins are like w so high now. Oh look, another bot. Jesus Christ, it's wild today. Well, that works out pretty well, doesn't it? That worked out really well. Whoa, look at the brewing time on that. What the fuck? It's so juicy. 14. That's not even... My god. <laughs> That's a gigantic brew in time. Oh well. Yeah, I will brew it. Why not? Alright, let's go to... Mint. No, why? What? My my mouse was over mint. Are you shitting me? Nobody cares about you, Baptiste. Yeah, let's just let's try and end these days quite quick, cause like we're pretty much so. What the hell? Return to the forest, wooden swords in hand. Together, they hack and slash away to a waiting picnic basket. I think we've been in a cuddle break, don't you? Sylvia feels a little close to the mint and wildly are stressed. Nice. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, we may as well... These last two days don't matter as much now. We've got a fair bit of money. Um, we can also upgrade a cauldron starting tomorrow. Could just make a decent bit of potions for the adventures. Could. What are you doing up so early? Market research. Vague but uncharacteristically brief. That works for me. Stick around, Sylvia. You might learn something. Ah, here we go. Fair tidings. Yikes. Anubia? Are you feeling alright? Your potion has arrived with the promised within the promised time frame. My what? What is happening right now? Thank you for your business. Wait a minute, Oswald, did you order a potion from the competition? Like I said, market research. I wanted to learn a few things, such as how speedy Anubia's service is. Pay the drone now, won't you? I will not. Huh. No wonder what happens if we don't pay. Thank you for your business. You have an unpaid balance. We may have found Anubia's weakness. If your entire workforce is this mindless. You have an unpaid... Shush, drone. We're just talking about how foolish your mistress is. You might be onto something, Oswald, if nothing else. This dummy is perfect for practicing my festival trash talk. 
Oh, I'm a Nubia and I think I'm so great, but I'm really a big brat. And when I lose the festival, I'm going to cry like a stupid baby. You toad. How dare you speak to me thus? Wait a minute. A Nubia? I thought this was a mindless drone. Less a drone than a husk. One I can inhabit at will. It's of a useful talent. My eyes and ears are everywhere. But that means you're spying on people. People let these things into their homes. They have no idea you can listen in whenever you want. As if anyone here were at all interested. But you're a fool if you think trading potions for coins is the path to success. The only truly valuable commodity in this world is data. Fucking hell. Alright. <laughs> Selling potions is a mean to an end. It gets me into their homes, into their heads, and once I've learned all there is to learn about people of Rafta, they will be my subjects in every way that matters. Yeah, it's too real. It's too real. You're a total megalomaniac, and I think I'll stick- if you think I'll stay quiet about this. Tell whoever you like, see what good it does. My prediction? People will give up a little privacy for a little convenience. Oh my god, it's too real. And I'm offering a great deal of convenience. Oh. That's fucking weird. Thank you for your business. May your purchase bring you contentment. Don't forget to rate your experience. I'll rate my experience, alright. Unsettling, would not recommend. I mean, did you hear all that? She's a total creep, a monster, and she's wrong about people, isn't she? I hope so, Sylvia. I suppose we'll learn soon enough. Right, I think my potion should be ready. Are you on track? Fuck yeah, I am. I'm fucking ready. I can't believe how ready I am. Do, 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 do. At least you didn't have to pay her. True. She walked out. I hope this is enough to win. Ba, 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 ba. This is my aged one, right? Yeah. Sick. Oh, mate, these prices are tanked at the moment. Do, 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 do. Okay, it's worth more here. Ah, right, let's make some money. Hey, I bought this game because of you and already completed it. Glad you enjoyed it, Jay. It takes a long time, I'll tell you that. Can we cut to the chase? With your assistance, my to-do list doesn't stand a chance. Reject. Alright, we need to we need to quickly uh skim through this day, because I don't have much time left. I have something to do, and I really want to do the tournament. So we'll do this, and then I'll waste some time. Might be an Anubia event making them worthless. Yeah, I should probably read those, shouldn't I? It's time to pump. We like to pump. Oh, well, that's pretty much it. Gotta run, but thanks. Sylvia, warmest greetings. I should like more potions, Sylvia. More, more. Reject. Fuck you. Do not apologize for prioritizing your needs as nice. This potion, you must tell me about it. Do not make me beg. It is time to pump. How could it be anything but sublime? I'm only human. Uh, let's do that. And then end the turn. Money! I tripped over three pirates on my way here. They're always underfoot. Let's make a deal, but best be quick about it. Wow, this guy does not have a lot of patience and loses a lot of patience when you end your turn. Oh my god. Don't forget the new cards? Yeah, I won't. Um, I can't really do much. We'll just do this. And then strike now. And then close the deal. What a dick. Here we go. Yeah, let's do our deck now before it's too late. Um... Frosty of the Squirrel is good. Panda isn't for the tournament. So who was it that gave me that card? I don't remember. Does so this one raise one for every point of patience? Um, don't think we need two slight hands. Yeah, it was the cats, wasn't it? 
Was it this one? Yes. I'll do. Um. Check the garden in. Have we got anything we're low of? Wait, what are you? You are... Potentially E. That's got a great amount of D. Right. I gotta stop beefing these back up. Oh, really? There we go. Too bad we can't feed them the Yeti pelt. Yeah. Um. Let's go hang out with Mint. Fan fiction. I'm interested to know what the fuck that is. Partners who train together stay together. Mint is on her best behavior, letting Sylvia have her first choice of wooden weapons. She even lets Sylvia take the first swing, but Mint easily knocks Sylvia's sword aside. Sylvia braces for the counter attack, but she's totally unprepared for Mint's tickle offensive. Never let your guard down, Sylvia, but that's when the tickle monster strikes. She feels a good deal closer to Mint and significantly less stressed. Here, yeah, have, um, I got you a flower. You're welcome. Time to go home. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in this fan fiction thing. Right, last day before the tournament. Our potions are ready. We're good to go. Up to your expedition to go with the game, blah, blah, blah. Oh, nothing actually happened today. Cool. Still brewing. Uh, let's go to Baptiste. I think I forgot to do that yesterday. The quest was a success. Here are the spoils. Thank you. Fucking Spenny. Can I ever feel violated? I just saw something that cannot be unseen in the editor chat. Uh oh. <laughs> oh god. Yep. Great. Really appreciate looking at that. Thanks, DCS. <laughs> Basically, it's Peanuts model from SCP and it's fucking horrific. Looks like a frog, but... Uh, where do I need to go now? I'm trying to remember. Corsac. You can grab the Yeti aging barrel before you use it for a potion. Okay. Oh man, look at some of these stuff we're unlocking. Didn't the Yeti thing need three fur though? Pinussy as it was called. That's lovely. Yeah, it was three of them, mate. Oh yeah, let's rank up. Time spent with you as always feels worthwhile. I'm awfully glad you're hanging around today. I need to pick me up. And there's nothing better than spending time with my girlfriend. Total agreement here. That's why I'm here. So what should we do? Oh, I know. Somewhere out there, a cat is stuck in a tree. It happens every day. I'm not good as a hero if those mules for help go unanswered. Go unanswered. Just to be clear, when you say cats, 
I mean pirates, yeah. Very enthusiastic climbers was pirates. Come on, I'll show you. The Sylvia surprise mint wasn't exaggerating the plight of Raptor's cat pirates. They walk hand in hand through town, eyes up in the trees. It's only five minutes before Mint spots a fearful feline clinging to a high branch. And this particular cat is no fresh kitten. He's a wizened old parrot with grey fur around his muzzle and a sun-bleached peg leg. Mint has to scale the tree in order to coax the pirate down to safety. Sylvia enjoys seeing Mint in action. Particularly from this angle. Looking good up there. <laughs> Once his paws are back on solid ground, the cat curtsies by way of thank you, then darts off towards the docks. You'd think they'd learn not to climb those things. It just never ends well for them. But I guess I know what it's like to make the same mistake over and over. Take my quest, for instance. Still no luck out there. Plenty of luck, all of it bad. The other day, I found a pretty famous short sword that's been wielded in some epic campaigns. Somehow, I ended up in a dragon's horde. I had to fight my way through it, clutch a drake, sneak past the sleeping dragon, and solve a super obtuse riddle just to get my hands on it. Sounds like quite an adventure. Yeah, but this sword's whole thing is that it glows when it's in the vicinity of a monster, which, as it turns out, isn't super helpful when there are monsters everywhere and you're trying to retain the element of surprise. After that, I tracked down a fabled artifact called the Everstone. It had been abandoned atop the highest peak on the island. According to the stories, whoever wields the Everstone has their strength increased tenfold. I assumed that meant it was enchanted with a buff of some kind. Turns out, it's just a heavy rock. It makes you stronger if you bench press it every day. <laughs> Look on the bright side. I bet you had quite a few from atop that mountain. You know, I really did. I wish you could have been there. Despite everything else going on, I've been in high spirits since our big talk. I feel incredibly lucky to be your girlfriend. You feel lucky. I'm the one dating the town's greatest hero. Well, wouldn't go that far. In fact, I'm worried that I'm not quite living up to the expectations on the heroic front. I'm sure that's not true. Stats don't lie, Sylvia. Baptiste tracks it all. Who brought in the most loot this week? Who took down the most monsters? Who cleared which dungeon fastest? I'm not the worst, but I'm not the best. Not in any category. And I didn't come all this way to be, you know, mediocre. It's time to step it up. Time to prove I'm worthy. Like finding a weapon fit for a true hero. I know it's out there, Sylvia, and I'm gonna find it. I wouldn't bet against you. You'd better not. Not if you want this coupon. Oh, spicy. I want it. I do. <laughs> Today, everybody gets what they want. I'm going back out there, and I'm not going to quit until I find what I'm looking for. 50% off, boys. Fuck yeah. Wait, we can rank up again? Right, I want to find out what fan fiction is. Promise not to judge me. <laughs> Mint is slightly apprehensive as she shows Sylvia a well-worn notebook. The notebook is full of stories, character profiles, and timelines, all written out in Mint's neat script. At Sylvia's invitation, Mint selects a story to read aloud. It's a tale of two rival adventurers forced to work together when they're swallowed by a leviathan. Before it's over, the story gets surprisingly steamy. I wouldn't share this with anyone but you. <laughs> Sylvia feels a lot closer to Mint and greatly less stressed. So then they went bushwhacking. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I can't even sort my cards out for the day now. Oh, well. I mean, they were already ready. Day's over. It's quiet at last. Perhaps I'll pick up a book. Greetings, peasant. So much for reading time, Oswald. You better keep your talents at the ready. Is that a threat? I'll let you know. I'm recording this exchange. I wanted to immortalize the moment that your fears and doubts overwhelm you. Now, contemplate my superiority and despair. Go on. I'll wait. Joke's on you. All you're immortalizing is me making this promise. I'm gonna beat you tomorrow. I won't even break a sweat. Now, why don't you get out of here and my mind get out of here and mind your own business? Oh, I assure you, my business is at the forefront of my mind. And business is very good. It seems the sheeple of Rafter are less concerned with my benevolent surveillance than you'd guessed. Would you like to know what they say about you behind closed doors? There's never you could tell me that I haven't already read it in an anonymous review. Well, you're something you might not have figured out. If you dare stand in my way tomorrow, you'll be a, as dust beneath my... Neil? I didn't you see that last bit. Or heel, maybe. I'm not backing down, Anubia. I mean, I didn't let the shark man intimidate me. What chance does a little girl have? Curse you! I am not a little girl. Truly, my regal bearing and keen stratagems have made that more than apparent. I'm over 1,000 years old, and I shall live for a thousand more. Well, yeah, but... Your cheeks are so pinchable. Pinchable? You pinch me to your own peril, you toothless jackal. I hate you. I'll crush you. You'll see. Later, bitch. Did she really just brag about her regal bearing, and then have a hissy fit? Maybe throwing a tantrum is one of those keen stratagems she mentioned. Well, it's competition time, boys. It's time to win. 
And if I don't win, I'll have my own hissy fit. <laughs> like sand through the hourglass, another 10 day period has come and gone. There's no time to wax nostalgic for bygone days, not when there's an entertainment to be had. I'm Baptiste, here once more to guide you through the twists and turns of the day's tournament. On the field, two legends of craftsmanship and commercialism stand ready to complete, compete for all the many glories they deserve. Let's give them a proper greeting, shall we? Hailing from a mighty overseas empire, our first contestant, small stature, bellies for... belies her imposing presence. Uh, belies? Belize? Oh, I don't fucking know. What's the secret of her success? She says it's divine right and more superiority, dummy. But she's made no secret of her love for the dark arts of capitalism. Give it up for Anubia. That's it, clap. I don't know if you don't. Anubia's up against our reigning champ, whose chthonic tonics have already become a Rafton institution. She works hard, she fights fear, and I'm pretty sure she talks to animals. She is Sylvia. Yeah, she, she's a cat person. You're a brat. And your sense of entitlement won't help you here. Shut up, I am not. Looks like the contestants are chatting amiably down there. Uh, they must be a li at least a little starstruck to be in the presence of our celebrity judge. He's a busy man, but he's made time to share his expertise and his winning smile. Of course I'm smiling. We're so close to the end. Before we get to the end, we've got to get started. And are, are our contestants ready to begin? Begin? I'm already five steps ahead. I see this fancy-ass fucking potion then. Well, I'll give these suckers a show. Let's hope they like a tragic ending. They sound ready to me. Here we go. This potion will break the curse of silence as surely my foes will break against my dread magnificence. That's a tall order. You'll also notice subtle hints of candied frog. I certainly caught a whiff of something. I'll value this at 1200. Sylvia, welcome back. Let's see what you've got. Oh. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> I just need to get it to 40%, right? This one speaks for itself. Ah, that was a pun. I think, on account of this being a silence cure. I can overlook it, seeing as you brewed what I was asked for. They say silence is golden. As for this potion, it's worth... 806! Unless you want to say more about it, after all. I am ready. Whew. Elevator pitch. Uh, oh my god, there it is. Waste your breath if you must. Oh my god! <laughs> None of my projections accounted for this. Wait, could this end it? Oh, I just won. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my fucking god! It's enough to convince me round one is Sylvia's. Mate, I literally, right? He brings up the potion. He brings up the potion. He goes, what do you want to say about it, right? And the card is casual conversation. So I literally just went, yeah, lovely weather we're having today, isn't it? You're looking forward to like the events later? And he went, ah, I've heard enough. You win. I can't wait for Anubia to blow her top. I won't. Oh my God, that's a long time. That's, ugh. I won't give you the satisfaction. Maybe this isn't going exactly as my Oracle algorithm told it. But I'm calm. I'm cool. I'm in control. What's she gonna... Okay. And I'm gonna eat your flipping face, you worm. <laughs> That's the face of a fire. It's still anyone's match. She is freaky. Oh, what the fuck? This music, man. Dare I ask what you have for us next? Then consider my masterpiece. Tolerance Potion. Aged for no less than 300 years. Fascinating. Where did you find a barrel that will last so long? Oh, I didn't age you in anything so mundane as a barrel. No, this potion was aged within the hollowed out skull of the last potion maker who did challenge me. That's certainly a rare vintage, which earns you a valuation of 1440. Yeah, that's uh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> As impressive as this Torrance Potion is, even this is not enough to make Anubia tolerable. Good zinger. Now let's see if this potion itself measures up. It's of superior make, no less. Hard to not to like a potion that makes room for more potions. I'll price this at... Uh... Okay. I think I'm ready.
Fucking easy game, lads. Easy game. Um. Well, there it is. I win. <laughs> I feel I should draw this out for the sake of dramatic effect. Tell me more. You've done it, Sylvia. You're moving on to the grand finale. I made it. I can. I can actually do this. Oh. Oh, that's horrific. Why? Why did you show us that? That is fucking horrible. Unacceptable. Dude, that's disgusting. And we just earned ourselves for 300,000 coins. That's not fair. I should have won. Well, you definitely get the prize for worse sportsmanship. This place is ridiculous. If Rafta would reject my gift, so be it. I have an empire to run. I mean, Rafta didn't reject her. She just lost the competition. And I've expended enough resources trying to establish a foothold upon the mud. So I'll go. But this knowledge shall be my consolation. I know what you're up against next. And you have no idea, Sylvia. No idea. You're right, I don't. I have no idea. Well, that sounded ominous. But I'll worry about it later. I deserve like half a day to revel in victory before I'm back to contemplating impending doom. Hmm. Did you see it, Anubia? Couldn't get out of town fast enough. I'm a gentleman, so all I say is good riddance. Because you hit her stupid face, right? Come on, say it. It feels good. Yes, I hated her stupid face very much. But I hope all this taught you a lesson about going on the offensive and staying on the offensive. When you're on a roll, Give them everything and the kitchen sink. Apply fluidity for one turn. Draw a card each time you play a card. What the shit? What? Dude, that would be insane for the tournament. Well, look at you, Sylvia. How far you've come. It must be disappointing to you. I mean, I know you like talking the money, but I'm sure you'd rather soul shackle me to a desk. Nothing could be further from the truth. I'm rooting for you, young woman. I find that hard to believe. Nonetheless, it's true. Your situation has two possible outcomes. The bank I serve benefits either way. But I much prefer the outcome where both sides profit. To that end, I can accept your payment now. Don't spend it all in one place. Boop. She got cool music though, hasn't she? Thank you, Sylvia. And please, don't take it personally. The service I provide is a necessary one. Dictated by the market. If I didn't do it, someone else would. And whatever else you think of me. Know that I'm hoping to see you succeed. Succeed. What do you think? Does she have a point? Are we on the same side? You might both hope for the same outcome, but that doesn't mean you're on the same side. It's true I needed her services and her bank's money to get the shop up and running. But it's a predatory system, and make no mistake, in this world, we have to look out for our own interests, because no one else will. How much is this debt? It's one million. It's actually insane. I, I bet this, he, he's gonna like, he's gonna turn around and be like, oh yeah, so the loan they gave me was 100,000, but at a 1,000% interest rate. Or something like that. It's just that sent one more competition packing. Good morning, Sylvia. That was quite a show yesterday. Too close for comfort? He's gonna be the fun he's gonna be the finale, isn't he? I'm going up against Robin. I wasn't too worried. I see you've grown in confidence just as you've grown in ability. You remind me of myself, you know. Many, many, many years ago. Well, you're not much older than me, right? You got an early start, but you've only been working as a potion maker for a few years. You know, it feels a great deal longer. Merp. Say, I don't suppose you're here to give me the scoop of my next competitor. I'm ready I'm ready to crush him. Oh. I'm sorry. Didn't you know? It's me, Sylvia. You're up against me next. <laughs> what? I didn't realize. No one told me. It was Baptiste's idea, naturally. He got a flair for the dramatic, and nothing's more dramatic than going to get up against the best. He wants us to put on a show. Figures it'll drum up interest in uh, local businesses and inject some money into the economy. But we don't have to jump through hoops for Baptiste. In fact, I'm here with a proposal. What do you say we cut to the chase and you simply, well, forfeit? <laughs> what the fuck? Merp. Forfeit? Why would I do that? Hear me out now. I know you need the money. There's no shame in that. So I'll let you take the cash price. I'll keep the fancy ingredient and my 
unassailable reputation. Ah, <sighs> we'll skip the whole circus. I could. I could just have the money. Just like that. Just like that. I could pay off my debt and be free, but... No, I'm sorry. I need that ingredient. What use could you possibly have for Mavenbloom? Well, it's sort of a long story, but... Ugh! <laughs> what an entrance. Uh, what the actual hell? Oh, uh... Ah. Aha. I understand now. I see exactly what's going on here. Someone's been messing with powers beyond their control. I'd hope to do this the easy way, but I can see we both have skin it. Oh, shit. That's Maven. <laughs> That's what ha It must be, right? I'd hope to do this the easy way, but I can see we both have skin in this game. So be it. I've waited this long, after all. I can wait one more week to get what I want. Burr. That sure took a turn. You. Don't think you'll tell anyone, do you? About me? It doesn't matter. In another week, Helene's getting her money and you're getting your cure. Who cares if people learn you were a bird in the meantime? Well, it doesn't do much for my sex appeal. Suck it up, Oswald. I'm more worried about how intense Robin got all of a sudden. Even the lizard looked menacing for a minute. People tend to show their true colors when this much money is involved. He didn't seem at all concerned about the money, though, did he? In fact, he gave me an opportunity to get the cash I need without any of the hassle. I could be debt-free right now. I... Appreciate you sticking it out for me. Really wish you'd probably fix that ceiling beam, though. I've been a little busy. So have I, actually. I have something here to help you across the finish line. There. With this stamp, you're authorized to make any potions you like and use ingredients from any region of the island. Well, all right. I finally got my full license. Just in time for the final push. I also retrieved the details for the final competition. Take a look. I gather you already know who your competitor is. The potions you'll have to brew are no joke either. But look, there it is, the Maven Bloom Flower. We're so close. It's as good as ours, and you're as good as cured. I like the confidence, but we're up against a living legend. Let's not count our owlets before they hatch. Why wouldn't you just say chickens? You know, actual idioms. You're not a real owl. Well, well. We're up against Robin. And it's all on the line for both of us, because we both want to cure our pet. Um, the thing is, though, we could just use our garden and duplicate it for him, and then be like, oh, thank you so much. His stress is no joke. Okay. It's obvious Robin was uh, Maven's apprentice, or learned from her journals and research and found her transformed into a lizard. Potentially, yeah. Right. Uh, what did I miss? I didn't miss anything there. Cool. We're gonna end the stream there, boys. Uh, we will pick this up again. We'll finish the game. It's gonna be good. Um... I don't- I, I'm not sure if there's a new video out. Let's have a check. Oh, maybe the podcast is out. I'm pretty sure the podcast is out. Let me go check for it. Yep, there it is. Right. Guys, go watch the podcast if you want to. It's really good. Uh, we had Stan in there. Stan reveals how much he spent over legal uh, on League of Legends. It's an insanely ridiculous number. You should definitely watch the podcast to find out. It's fucking berserk. But uh, thanks for joining the the stream, guys. If you subscribed, if you resubscribed, if you sent in like gift subs, or if you uh, did super chats or anything like that, thank you so much. Um, yeah, enjoy the podcast. I will be back now, either tonight with Project Playtime. But I wouldn't get your hopes up. I really do not think Project Playtime is going to come out tonight. But if not, I will be back tomorrow for Project Winter. And uh, Jet Knight Gaming, thank you so much for the 10 Canadian dollars right at the end. Buy some lunch with this? I will. I will. Thank you so much, dude. Anyway, see you later, guys. Make sure you watch that podcast, yeah? If you want to. I'm not forcing you. <laughs> Bye.